This is one of several scenario comparisons between a swept spectrum analyzer, such as the Agilent E4440A, or PSA, and the Tektronix RSA6100A with DPX. In this example, we're looking at an infrequently occurring hop, representing a frequency instability, where once every 1.28 seconds, the frequency hops for about 100 microseconds, then returns to the original carrier frequency. The challenge for both instruments is to see how quickly they can characterize the behavior of this signal so that the user can identify the problem. Both the PSA and the RSA6100A have been set to a 10 MHz span, both with the same center frequency of 2.4453 GHz, and both have a similar resolution bandwidth. Using the swept spectrum analyzer mode on the Agilent PSA, it's not easy to see what's happening with this signal, so we'll attempt to change the controls to better see this instability. Here, the sweep speed has been slowed to 5 seconds, and in this new sweep, we can see three instances captured from the frequency instability. Even though we've captured them, all we know is that they occurred. We can't tell anything else about the signal's behavior, like whether or not it's hopping between all of these frequencies. Now, here's the same exact signal on the RSA6100A real-time spectrum analyzer. After only 5 seconds, we can very quickly tell a lot about the signal. DPX technology offers the best solution for discovering transient RF signals caused by glitches. We can see here that there are two specific frequencies, and there is undershoot and overshoot when the signal hops between the two frequencies. Here's what the capture looks like after just a few minutes. With DPX, which makes over 48,000 spectrum measurements per second, compared to 50 per second by the Agilent PSA, and with the intuitive displays of signal activity in the frequency domain, the RSA6100A provides a very detailed, clear picture of what's happening with transient RF signals, enabling engineers to see how frequency and amplitude are changing over time. <laughs>